Hey guys, welcome back to the hide today. It is ridiculously cold out here. I'm uh, <laughs> dodging winter storms to bring you guys just a short video here. This is the TriStar Viper G2. This one is in 28 gauge. I'm gonna be doing just a quick patterning test. I recently acquired this gun with a uh, supply of this Federal Top Gun 28 gauge shot ammo to do some uh, clay shooting with a couple of buddies. So we're gonna see what it patterns at at 25 and 40 yards. I've got the skeet choke screwed into the end of the barrel there. So we're gonna try 25. I'm gonna stop the camera. We'll set up the 40 yard target and take that one. And then we'll compare our targets after we get done shooting. So this ammo, believe it or not, you can still find 28 gauge ammo, which is really cool. But this is uh, 13, 30 feet per second, two and three quarter inch, three quarter ounce, eight shot. So let's uh, see what it does here. And this is in semi-auto, so, all right, first shot here. All right, so I'm gonna stop the camera, we'll swap out the targets, and then we'll... All right guys, so we got the 40 yard target set up. So we'll load another shell in here and see what it does there at 40 yards. Okay, I'm gonna stop the camera. I'm gonna go grab our paper. We'll come back and take a look. Okay, guys, I went and picked our cardboard here, and this is our 25 yard target. So, as you can see, we've got a good, a pretty good spread. Oh, right in the center of this cardboard here. This cardboard here is about 39 inches wide. Um, I'd say inside of 25 yards with this choke, like I said, this is the skeet choke, we will probably be in the money. So as you can see, that's pretty good. That's not too bad. I'll get you a close up shot of that. And here is the 40 yard. Now the 40 yard might be kind of kind of pushing it um this is going to be my first kind of forte into this style of shooting so i'm sure choke selection will have a lot to do if i switched out to a different choke this gun did come with four so perhaps we could we could get a little bit more but as you can see it uh it was not it was pretty spread out across the surface but there are a few gaps where clays could get through um Overall, I say for what I'll do, it'll probably be just fine. But if I see that it starts to wane a little bit, I may have to step up to the 20 gauge. So as you can see, kind of some close up there. Like I said, this one is the 40. And let me throw the 25 back up here for reference. And there is the 25. So... Not bad on the 25, maybe pushing it a little bit on the 40. But overall, pretty fun. I can't wait to get out and do some of this shooting. I think it's going to be an absolute blast. So if you guys want to see more of this content, let me know below. I'll think about getting a, a full review of that TriStar Viper up on the channel. For those of you that might be interested in that, so far I am absolutely loving that gun. But uh, if you got any questions, post them up below. Shoot me a message over on the Facebook page. Always glad to interact with you guys over there. And as always, she's straight. Later.